happening? So it is early, early, early Tuesday morning, and I am going to break down all the workouts that I do, how many calories that I burn during the workouts, the intensity of each one, the length of each one. This is something that I have never done before, so this will be a fun little experiment. I've got my watch nicely charged. I never actually turn it on running when I go for a run. I just let it do its automatic thing. So it'll be interesting to see if it says anything different. But before I do that, sorry, the phone is jiggling. I am in my car because I literally do this before I, right before I go run. Um, I am eating my breakfast, which is my proper good oatmeal oats. I have been addicted to these. They are just, I mean, yeah, I could just make my own overnight oats, but this is really convenient. You just dump it into the jar, add a little bit of water, or a little bit of milk and bang, it's done. Today's flavor is blueberry. So I'm going to put these down. I used to run pretty much fasted and then I would eat something right after and it would be something higher in protein, like a protein bar or something. Now I'm doing carb heavier before my runs and this fills me up. This does the trick, makes me feel great for the run. So I'm going to do that real quick and then I will see you right before we start actually hitting the pavement. Okay. Breakfast is down. Now I'm packing up my fanny pack, my running pack. Anybody else pack toilet paper when they go run? Just always be safe and sorry. And my toilet paper that I had packed was getting a little grungy looking. So fresh, fresh little hand roll. Then got my key, music, get that guy in there, and then we'll start Fitbit and get going. Um, if you guys missed it, I am training for a 50K currently. So the start of the week is generally lower mileage and kind of builds up throughout the week. And then Saturdays are my really long days. So today, moderate. So we'll get that guy done and then I will see you when the run is safe. Holy moly, run is done. Sorry for the shaky camera. Still so dark outside. It's gonna take some getting used to. As far as my distance, I know that I went for 59 minutes. My goal was 60, um, but I'm here. I'm not gonna run laps for 45 seconds. Um, I'll put all my stats for the run up here. Calories, distance, all that fun stuff. And now I'm gonna go hydrate, stretch, foam roll plan out a little bit more for the day. So those of you guys that are new to following me, I own an online fitness studio called Fit Women's Weekly Live. And every day I go live two times to do a live workout and I push really hard. One's a 60 minute workout and one's a 30 minute version of that 60 minute workout followed by a weightlifting series. In just a little bit, once the sun comes up, I've got a 60 minute workout, which I'll show you guys and I'll make sure. I've never tracked during all of my workouts before, so it'll be super interesting to see. And then this afternoon, I'll be back for 30 minutes of that workout, plus a complex dumbbell workout. <laughs> Have to think about it a little bit. So a lot of stuff going on, but it'll be a good day. And this is a typical day, unfortunately. Three workouts, I know that's a lot, but that is what my body is used to, is what I do for my job. I do not recommend this, I do not suggest that you go do three workouts a day. In fact, you don't even have to work out every single day. Just move your body a little bit, go for some walks. But we'll tally up everything that I do and I'll go over some misconceptions as far as like, are the calorie readings that we see real versus what I actually think that I burn at the end of the day. Cool? All right, I will see you when the sun comes up. I got busy doing some work, but <laughs> Yeah, it is about time for me to start Fitness Weekly Live. That's what's going down. Um, and yeah, I'll turn my watch back on. I'm gonna put it down as a weightlifting class and we will see at the end of the day what that actually looks like. Wish me luck. It's got some heavy deadlifts, it's got some ab wheels, it's got some clean and presses, it's got a little bit of everything in this workout. So let's get it done. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe sound and when I fall you tied a rope to me you're blessing me every day I was down with an illusion 
But now that the day is over, I want to address a couple of things. First off, just because I burn this amount of calories during my workouts doesn't mean that that's what you're supposed to do. And just because I burned over a thousand calories doesn't mean that's the amount that you would burn if you were to do these kind of workouts. That and the way that your body is pushed is determined upon so many different factors from genetics to your body size to how trained you are. Somebody who is already really well conditioned, already is working out regularly, your body is used to working out, so it doesn't have to work as hard in order to do the type of workouts that I've been doing, because that's what I'm used to. However, if you have never worked out or you haven't been doing this style of workout and all of a sudden I'm like, hey, do these three workouts, you're likely gonna be burning a lot more calories than I am because your body's having to work a lot harder. You're kind of in that stage of like, oh my God, what am I doing? And so you're gonna burn more. Um, again, just because I do this does not mean that I recommend everybody doing this. In fact, most people, 90% should not be working out at the volume that I do. Remember, this is my job. This is what I do for a living. I film two workouts live every single day. And then my run is because that is something that I do solely for myself. Right now I'm training for a race, but even when I'm not training, I still go for that run because it's not part of my job. It's something that I get to claim as just my time to move by myself with my own thoughts without having to worry about designing workouts for other people or filming in front of a camera. So that's why I continue to run. A lot of people have said like, why don't you give up on running? And I'm like, because it makes my heart freaking happy. That is why. Now I did not cover nutrition in this video and maybe I should because I think that it would be really eye-opening. So if you guys want me to share that in the next video, let me know because just because it says that I burned a thousand calories doesn't mean I actually burned a thousand calories. These fitness trackers are not 100% accurate. In fact, here's some stats about how accurate they are. And as you become more conditioned and more fit, they become even less and less reliable. And I also wanna remind you guys that even though during my strength training workouts, it didn't look like I burned a ton of calories, the great thing about strength training is that you put stress on your body and it takes up to 42, even 72 hours to recover. So my metabolism is raised for that period after the workout, not just during the workout. Whereas with cardio, yes, I burnt a ton of calories during that run session, but when the run is over, the calorie burn is over. And that's not the same with your um, strength training. And I think the best way to show this is that as the week goes by, my resting heart rate is going up as well because my body is having to work to recover during that time. And then after I take a rest day, my heart rate comes right back down to its standard resting heart rate, which is in the mid to lower 50s. But towards the end of the week, when I've been doing this for so long, my heart rate is up near closer to 60, more like 58, 58-ish. 
And that's how I can tell, okay, I need to rest, I need to recover, my body needs to chill out so I can get back to my normal standards. And that may be another video in the future too. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed seeing what my typical training day looks like, comment down below and I would love to hear what your training cycle looks like right now. And if you have a Fitbit or a Garmin or an Apple phone or Apple watch, whatever it is you use, how many calories in a standard workout day do you end up burning? All right, let's chat about it in the comments. I will answer everybody's comments. I always do. So I'd love to make the conversation continue on down there. All right, you guys, make sure to like and subscribe to the video. I will be back next week.